Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Chat. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to change the IP address of your Red Hat 7 point operating system and also how to assign IP configuration to your newly added network interface card. So guys, uh, I have a VMware Extension Play environment and also I have installed a Red Hat 7.7 .7 virtual machine. So if you have no idea about the VMware Workstation Player, I have uploaded a video about the VMware Workstation Player under Cloud Computing Video Series. So please go and watch that video. You can see it under Cloud Computing Video Series. And if you don't know how to download Red Hat 7.7 .7 ISO image and then create a virtual machine. Uh, so I have uploaded a video for that also under uh, Linux Video Series. So please go and watch that video. Okay. So guys, uh, to do the changes for our network interface cards, we need to open our terminal. So here I have installed my virtual machine. I have installed my operating system with GUI option. Usually uh, many IT guys install with minimum features so then they don't install GUI. So, but here I have installed this operating system with the GUI so you can uh, decide it. So here I'm used to do the changes using my terminal. So therefore I will open my terminal. So click on application, then click on terminal. Okay. So guys, now you can see my terminal. So I will zoom in this. Okay. Hope, uh, hope you can see uh, let us here. So now uh, here in this video, I'm going to change the IP address and also I'm going to show you how to assign IP configuration to a newly added network interface card. So to see the current configuration, we have to execute command if config. So now you can see available interfaces and the IP configuration. So here plus 20 ENS33. So you can see IP address, net mask and also ENS39 but you can't see any IP address here. So this one is the newly added network interface card. So as the first part, I'm going to change the IP address of this interface ENS33. So I will change this IP address to 135.192.168.18.135 then I will uh, do the network IP configurations of this interface. So here we have two network adapters. So I will show you uh, these adapters. So click on player, then go to manage virtual machine setting. You can see network adapter, network adapter three. So here, this one is the ENS33, the first network adapter. So today I have added a new inter adapter to show you the uh, how to do the configuration. So that one is network adapter three. If you need to add the new uh, network adapter, click on add, then you can select network adapter, then you can click on finish. So, but I'm here I'm not going to add uh, another network adapter because I have added a new network adapter already. So I will show you how to do the configuration for this network adapter. So close this. Okay, so first, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to change the IP address of ENS33. So to do that, we have to go to the network configuration directory. So in Red Hat 7.7, .7, our directory is etc sysconfig network script. So we need to change the directory. etc sysconfig, then network script, press enter. So to see the available files and directories, we have to execute command ls. Okay, now you can see what are the files for configuration. I think you don't have an idea about this. So here you can see there's a file with ipsfgns33. So if you come to if config output, you can see my configured interface is ENS33. So it means that this is the network configuration file for ENS33 interface. But we don't, uh, but we can't see a interface uh, configuration file with name of ipsfg ENS39. So that's why there is no any uh, IP configurations are applied to this interface. Okay, so here first 
I will change the IP address of ENS33. Then I will create an interface if CFG ENS39 for ENS39 interface. Then I will add IP configuration. So, okay. First, I'm going to change the IP address of ENS33 interface. To do that, we have to edit this configuration file. So, this is the configuration file for ENS33. So, open this with VI command. But when we edit the configuration file, we have to go to the root user here. I have come with the user Ravi. So, I have to log as the uh, root user. I have to be the root user. The command is sudo su dash press enter then add your user password so i will add my user ravi password okay i added the password for user ravi okay now i'm the root but i have go back to the network configuration directory etc sysconfig network scripts Press enter. Press down ls. You can see cfg and step 3. So using vi command we can edit this. If cfg ens33 press enter. To edit any file we have to go to insert mode. We have to press i from our keyboard. Guys if you have watched my video about red hat basic command in that videos I have talk about how to edit a file using vi command okay so if you have no any idea about the vi command please go and watch that video it is under red hat basic commands parts one so I have go to the insert mode so I will press i then now you can see insert so now I change anything here so basically here I'm going to change the IPv4 address. So you here you can see specific configuration for a specific interface. So name ENS33. So if we create a configuration file for ENS39, then name should be ENS39. Then UUID for our network card. So this one is the specific for a specific interface. So this is only unique for this interface. Okay. Uh, and also one thing which it is not uh, it is uh, we, we, we always should not keep this if we comment this no problem you we can comment this uh, device ENS33 it is also a, a unique configuration for interface and IP address it is also unique so here I'm going to change this so I'm going to change this as 135 and gateway this not the, we should not change this and also because it is the default gateway so dns ip address it is the default gateway ip address i can change this so i will change this to google dns 8.8.8.8 now we need to change save this so press s key then type like this wq and press enter okay so after uh, changing the network configuration we have to restart the we must restart the network so to do that we have to use system ctl restart network this is the command to restart the network present if the network restart without any error so it means that our configurations are fine there is no any problem so to see the uh, uh, to see the content of ipcfg ns33 33 you can 33 you can execute command cat ipcfg ens33 so now you can see the content of this here ip address 135 we change this and we change the DNS as the Google DNS. So guys, uh, it is not necessary to keep the UID. So you can comment it. And also you can comment DNS also because we have a separate network. Uh, we have a separate file to add our DNS IPs. So it is not necessary to add, but it's up to you. You can decide it. So now I will list down available files. And also I will execute if config command 
you can see IP address has been changed to 135. So now I'm going to do the relevant configuration for ENS39 interface. So let's say this interface is for the network 192.168.168.0 slash 24. It's a separate network. So then I have to assign IP address from that network. Then I have to define the default gateway and I have to name the uh, device name and I have to add DNA. So let's see how to do the changes. So to, to do that, we have to create a file with name ipsyfg ENS33. So we can uh, create a uh, create the ipsyfg ENS39 uh, file using vi ipsyfg ENS39. But we have to add each and every lines. So it is difficult to do. So here we have a very shortcut method. We can copy ipsyfg ENS33 to ipsyfg ENS39. Then it will automatically create a new interface file ipsyfg ENS39. CP ipsyfg ENS33. So then our destination. So here we are going to create the ipsyfg ENS39. So destination file should be ipsyfg ENS39. So here our interface is ENS39. So your destination interface should be ENS39. So this is the new interface. This is the new uh, configuration file we are going to create for ENS39 interface. So that's why we name this as ipsyfg ENS39 presenter. Now list down available files. You can see there is a file with ipsyfg ENS39. Now we have created the configuration files, but remember that we copied this from ENS33. It means that we have same configurations for EN, ipsyfg ENS39 like in ENS, ipsyfg ENS33. So I will cat this. Coffee then first presenter okay so you can see the uh, even this configuration file name as ipsyfg ns39 the configurations are same like in ipsyfg ns33 because we copied this from the ipsyfg ns33 so we have to change the uh, unique configurations here so we have to change the uh, interface name to ns39 then device to ns39 then we have to add relevant ip address 192.168.168.0 slash 24 network from that network and we have to define the gateway and if we wish we can change the dns so here i'm going to change the relevant uh, configurations so we have to open this using the vi command so cfg ns39 face read press enter to edit this we have to go to insert mode type uh, press i from your keyboard then come to do the uh, change the uh, unique configuration so you must change name to ns39 if you forget forget to do this your can your interface will not come up if name is ns39 then uuid and remember that uuid is a specific one for for a network interface card we copied this from the ipsyfg ns33 so it means that this uuid is not the uid of the ens39 network interface and also i mentioned that uh, we we must not keep this uid we can comment this so i will comment this then there will be no problem then device it should be ens39 okay so then ip address it should be 192.168.0/24 ip address it should be uh, within that network so that's uh, so actually when you configure uh, when you configure an interface card so you can decide what is the ip address so it's up to you you can select a ip address from your network okay so here i'm going to uh, assign IP address from my uh, network 192.168.168.0 slash 24. So I will add IP address 
three as my IP address. So then, guys, my gateway should be changed. It is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one sixty eight dot one. Okay. So what are the other unique configuration gateway should be changed ip address should be changed device ens39 uid commented no problem name ens39 so this is fine so guys so here i'm going to save this configuration press s key then type w key and press enter okay as i mentioned earlier to apply these changes we have to restart the network from arrow key i will take that command press enter if the uh, network restart without any error it means that configurations are fine type command if config press enter you can see ns33 ip address we change earlier it is 135 and here we change the uh, we, we 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 added the ip configurations for ns39 interface ip address is 192.168.168.3 it has been changed then our net mask slash 24 then okay guys so it means that the changes are applied here so guys hope you understood how to change your ip address and how to assign ip configurations for newly added network interface card so this is a very very important video so when you work as it guy you have to do these changes so guys remember this is not difficult to do please follow these steps which i uh, followed here so guys and one thing to mention please subscribe my youtube channel and please share these videos with your friends to improve their knowledge and uh, i have uploaded videos for many many content i have uploaded video for cloud computing uh, linux uh, windows uh, backup and replication web hosting email dns cyber security so there are so many video series so there is no any single place in youtube to learn these everything okay remember for to learn everything so guys uh, please subscribe my youtube channel and uh, please share this video with your friends please uh, follow follow our facebook page and uh, if you uh, access our website techchat.lk you can read so many articles so guys uh, actually thank you very much for watching this video